needed some uh, new taps to the bathroom because the old ones are getting very tired and the chrome was going and they weren't very good quality to be honest we chose them in a hurry and I've got four or five houses I look after and I always fit grower um, that's grower not hands grower hands grower is the same company well actually as a brother of grower and they split up and the grower more or less sell in the UK the hands grower stuff is very expensive but this is not bad they're about 60 pounds those taps and because I've just got a normal tank in the upstairs, I've got about seven or eight feet of, of head, that's all, <laughs> um, which equates to probably 0.2 bar. If you think of one bar is 30 feet, so 0.2 bar is going to be six feet. So I've got 0.2, okay? Now, so a lot of these grower taps, the mixer ones, aren't any good whatsoever um, at that kind of pressure. They require two or three bar to work properly. And they're only good for flats or places where you've got a combi boiler type arrangement. So I was very mindful to choose a low pressure tap. Okay, so this is the grower. Um, and I looked around and I phoned a few dealers up in Plumweld. And they seem unclear as well. So they had to phone grower to check. But you can see this is the 332620L. And the L is for low pressure. All right. Now, I thought well, that's great because it says 0 0.1 bar in the... Uh, in the instructions and in the instructions it says at 0.1 bar I think the delivery is 1.7 liters per minute but what they don't tell you it's it's both um, with both barrels going okay now if you look at the old tap that came out here you've got like basically a 15 millimeter fitting and probably a 10 millimeter pipe going up into the into the actual tap um, and I fitted one already so I'll show you the flow in a minute I mean it's Okay, um, and the other grower taps I've bought before had a, an ordinary flow straightener um, rather than one of those filters and diffuser, which, which is a pressure really, uh, limiter and also gives you the bubbly sort of water that the Germans love, the continental sort of feels of the water coming out. Well, it just trickles out with that in there. So the other taps I bought previously, the grower ones in the other bathroom, had a flow straightener which is literally just a plastic jet director we can see straight through it no mesh nothing to restrict the flow so um i haven't got those with this so i've got to get some flow straighteners from somewhere but the ones in the old tax might fit I'll, I'll show you the difference between those in a minute okay but in the instructions we're, we're pretty disappointed with the flow, really. If you've only got six or eight feet of head, I'll give you a demonstration at the end. It's just a word of warning so that you're informed about what you're buying. But um, I'll run over the spec downstairs so you can have a look in the, in the camera setup. So there they are. It's the grower, that one there. And it is a special low pressure one. So be careful because a lot of people are advertising ones that they say they're low pressure. And when you look at the spec, on the grow website they're not low pressure so it's a bit of a minefield um, but I'll just show you the ends of the tails if I pull a tail end up here tail end you can see that hole the hose is pretty small look at that I mean it's I don't know eight millimeter nine millimeters diameter and you see the hole in there the central hole I've drilled that out because it was four millimeters when I got it and it's a tiny one and that's what that one's running on so I've drilled put a drill down there of 4.5 millimeters to make the hole that much bigger because it was tiny okay on a high pressure system but no good on ours um, so these skinny pipes and you can't really change them but there's no evident way of taking them out of the tap block it's okay but disappointing at the moment um, and this has got the standard stock unit as delivered from grower that came with the tap and the only one that came with the tap okay so we're just going to do a test so just turn her on watch us counting you can see we've got more of a bubbly more pleasing flow look it's like a lemonade coming out of the tap so it's, it's quite pleasing but how much slower is it this is the question so we're getting ready to cool it any moment now now yeah, so that was 19 seconds, okay? 19 seconds. So it's gone from 10 to 19. Putting that in virtually doubled the flow. And the problem is that it's very nice, it's very usable in this condition, but you're gonna to have to wait twice as long for the hot water to come through from the tank, unless you've got a recirculating hot water system. 
and then it's going to be twice as long to actually in the morning waiting for the hot water to arrive so I'm going to put these these aren't grower units these are from the old taps I'm a bit, a bit disappointed grower didn't supply them I'll just give you a picture of the actual grower part as well in a second I'll take it out and you can have a look at it so middle position and let's just see on the jug down there we've got a one litre mark the underside of that line is one litre so that should give us a reasonable accurate so go press stop when it hits the line now okay that was 10 10 seconds 10 seconds per litre sounds like a, a Veyron going down the runway Hold on, move the wife is to try us out of the way. Middle position again. Now this is the modifier. Yeah, I mentioned before that the taps in the bathroom that were here before and the other grower taps we have have got these flow straighteners which are basically uh, just a, a load of radial veins and a hole in the middle and they don't give very much resistance to flow at all but they try and get a sort of nice flow from the end of the tap rather than the sort of the trickling tap thing where the the actual stream is unstable so it gives a more aesthetically pleasing I suppose more usable stream of water okay now I put these in the taps the, the test you just saw had these baffles fitted and the other grower taps I bought maybe eight or nine years ago came with a, a flow straightener in the box so you could just swap them over if you wanted to the Germans I know I've lived in Germany like to have this um, water uh, arrangement where it kind of puts water air into the water kind of aerates it and you get an aerated flow and it doesn't splash and it's quite pleasant but I was interested to see what flow you get out of the box so so yeah we've got this um, looking at the standard this is as it's supplied from grow with the tap and then if you take it apart take the rubber ring out the seal ring then there's this filter on the top which looks just like a plain filter which comes off it comes off he says one handedly <laughs> it's very difficult you can see it's a filter plus some kind of pressure restrictor not sure what it is but let's just take that out and then drop that back in there put the washer back screw it back in the tap and see where it, this is what it looks like without any it's a horrible flow look going quite fast but it's just ugly okay so the standard grower uh, flow straightener or we want to call it the actual nozzle part is put in without the green filter stroke collimator fitted so let's just give that a run and see what that looks like yeah so straight away the um, the flow looks nice it's bubbly as you'd expect on a continental tap and it's filling up I'm just gonna call it now now yeah so we've got a time of 12 seconds that time so it's two two seconds longer to get your hot water through from the tank but it looks better so um, I think because it looks nice I might look out for some other flow straightening devices but I'm going to run that without this flow take this part removed which is the bride with the grower tap because it just gives a nicer bubblier better sort of more more nicer, <laughs> more good um, flow. It's quite nice. Okay, it is slower though. There's less flow there, so you will be waiting a bit longer for your hot water to come through, but not too significantly. Yeah, it's a nicer flow. You can bear that to this one. Let's put the straightforward straightener in. It's okay, but it's not as nice as it's more water, but more bad. So yeah, we're going to stick with the grower part with the green filter removed. And that's the flow you get from eight feet of head, okay? Uh, I thought you might find that interesting because when I was ordering these taps online, um, the suppliers and uh, various people on Amazon and eBay were claiming them to be low pressure. They weren't low pressure. Um, they were minimum pressure one bar, which would just give a trickle in this situation. Some are rated at 0.2 and these are rated at 0.1 and that's the sort of flow rate you get. So if you're buying taps, 
you've got a conventional reservoir tank in the loft and it's just gravity fed then you might find that interesting because I couldn't find any resources which actually show them working so anyway if you're interested just subscribe to the link in the bottom corner of the channel um, to see all sorts of other hands as I fit bits and come across problems I just put them on the internet so people can uh, learn from my experience hopefully hope you find that interesting